So this is uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. I want to do a bit of a throwback on this guy, just see what he's all about. This is Aaron Ra on the right, if you don't know him. He's pretty cool, but check this out. He debated him on evolution, and it was absurd. Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? Have I ever seen a dog turn into a dachshund? No, have you ever seen an ape turn into a human have being? Have I ever seen a, a, a car turn into a Corvette? Are you, can you hear me? Yeah, have I ever seen a shark turn into a fish? I didn't ask about any of those things. I asked, when have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? I'm trying to illustrate the fallacy of your question. How that fallacy? You wrote that we're all ape. You must and, have. And we are. And that book. have at some point all these hundreds of right, thousands of years. Yeah. At some that, point, that book is, you would have book is seen if an, ape, if an long. ape turned into a human being. So this is my least favorite thing about evolution, like deniers. They don't understand that evolution doesn't mean like this, this monkey woke up one day and looked down and went, wow, I'm a person now. Like, that's just not how it works. It happened over millions and millions and millions of years in the same way, like handwriting evolves. For example, if I am writing, I don't know, if I'm doing like a curve, like an L, over and over and over again, eventually the L is going to look different at the end after I do it like a thousand times. It's just, you don't automatically see a change. It's not they wake up one day and are completely different. That's not how things work. Right. But, you know, this guy is an airhead. I don't know a better way to describe him. Someone asked for his opinion on Neanderthals. Yeah. Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? Once again, humans are apes in the same way that a duck is a bird. So if you ask me if I've ever seen a bird turn into a duck, that's kind of a stupid question. I, because me, I, I didn't ask that. Duck. I didn't ask okay, that. Did, I asked did you, you ask? I asked yeah. you, ask, ask, uh, ask. I don't understand. Ask. It's like he's trying to create a meme live or something. He's just purposefully <laughs> missing the point here. Yeah, it, it's intentional. And it's like, is he really that, like, not stupid, but just like, unknowledgeable and incapable of absorbing knowledge. Have you ever seen an ape turn into a human being? That is a nonsense question. Why? Because it's like asking for a place halfway between Los Angeles and California. No, it's not. I didn't ask about that. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't know what you asked. I do know. The, you wrote because this book called We Are All Apes. Aaron Ra actually knows a lot about this subject. Do you know him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't know if you've met him before. I don't, I don't think remember. I've maybe like once. I don't remember ever meeting him. Um, but I know him. I know him. I know his content. I know well, who he is. Yeah, he's pretty interesting. And he's very, very knowledgeable about like evolution and biology and stuff like that. I think he went to back to school to get a degree in this or something. I don't I don't remember. But anyway, I do wonder sometimes if people like him specifically um whoever what's the suit's name jesse jesse lee peterson yeah jesse lee yeah. peterson i wonder if people who and this is not meant to be like degrading or anything i just wonder if they have some sort of neurological condition where they literally cannot comprehend stuff like this because it's not sounding like it's not sounding like he's just not getting it to not get it entirely it's sounding like he's just stupid yeah a hundred percent by the way, guys, check out my new shop, owenmorgan.com slash shop. I have a bunch of really cool designs on there. And here's another video from Jesse Lee Peterson, since we're going through the whole throwback. I used to think that when they used that word, white supremacy, it, it was a negative word. But now I realize what they're thinking is that, and, and it's true, by the way, that, <laughs> that white men are smarter than them, superior to them, and, and instead of learning... Oh, hey, how did you become so superior? They want to destroy it so that they won't be reminded how dumb they are. And so they're dumbing everybody and everything down rather than coming up to the level of white supremacy. That, that's who this guy is. Vile. Disgusting. When also, I just want to tell you, like he said, which is true, by the way, that um, saying that white people are inherently smarter um, is like saying that every time I go outside and get a tan, I become dumber. Like, it's literally just melanin levels in your skin. It makes no difference neurologically. It boils down to this. There are disparities between the black community and the white community in America. That is the result of one of two things. Either 
a societal social problem that can be fixed right through reparations or through community building or whatever or it's genetic and if you think that it's social let's fix it if you think it's genetic you're a nazi that's a nazi belief simple as that i tremble at the notion that black people are taking over our country i tremble dude is a full trump supporter three time trump voter because I may not know my flower, but I know black people. And most black people, most, not all, not all, not all, but most cannot run anything. Black males, black men, and black women. So I, does he think it's genetic then? Was he upset over, okay, a few things. Was he upset over Obama being president? Did yes. he, he thinks that that was our worst presidency ever? One of them, yeah. I mean, it has to be the worst. Yeah, he's one of those people. And also, he's he is black. Uh huh. He comprehends that, right? Yeah, and he thinks he isn't fit to run, or he said most aren't. Maybe what is he? I don't understand what he believes here. He is a a black white supremacist and just an evil human being. Honestly, they're emotional. They're unconscious. They have no love. They have no talent, no sense of leadership at all. Why do you think they've been fighting all these years for reparations and affirmative actions and all that crap? Because they, too, know that they can't earn it. But you put them in charge of our country. Well, the problem is that there is a barrier that makes it harder for the black community to earn something. It is not opportunities are not fairly proportioned out. Like, um, for example, there was a study not too long ago showing that if you have a black sounding name, you are less likely to get hired for a job than if you have a white sounding name. That's just one example. Or uh, black people with the exact same rap sheet, the exact same crime, exact same everything are given longer, harsher sentences than white people who did that exact crime with the same circumstances. So the fact is, Black people do have it harder in the United States. That's just what it is. Now, he, I guess, is a, a race realist, a, gen, a, a race like a genetic believer or whatever. That is a full on Nazi belief. It's estimated that white supremacists stole over 400 billion in property alone from the black Americans they terrorized and or murdered between Reconstruction and present day. I, really? I have not heard, I've not seen that number, but th honestly, that seems kind of low, uh, to be perfectly frank. Like, I thought your name was Owen, not Frank. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sign up for my Patreon. I'd really appreciate that very much. It would mean so much to me. This is like a really precarious moment in history, in, Amer in U.S. history, and for me personally. So it would mean a lot if you sign up for my Patreon. Check out cultarchive.org. I did a cult test, basically, where you can see if you're in a cult. And you can look at the historical tests of other groups that already went through this. Also, check out my merch. I have a whole bunch of really cool shirts and stuff. Uh, really interesting. Uh, I would really appreciate that. I was going to say, he mentioned people fighting for reparations. He said uh, they're incapable. Black people are incapable of love and whatever else. And that's why they're fighting for reparations. The reason they're fighting for reparations is because of slavery, obviously. that like I don't think there's anyone... I don't think there's anyone on any side who disagrees with that. I just think people on the side of slavery is amazing and people are like, and black people are crazy. J they think that black people are fighting for reparations because they're being idiots and don't realize that slavery was whatever, right. or that they don't deserve reparations, even though they're fighting for them. So I don't, I genuinely don't believe I've ever seen a viewpoint like his where Jesse Lee Peterson's. Yeah. Yeah. Where he, I mean, like, he believes it's a, it's a genetic thing, which also I have rarely heard, but also in addition to that, believes that people are fighting for reparations because they lack the feeling of love. I don't know. I like, I just, like, I've never heard of him before. I've never, well, I've heard of him. I've never seen anything about him or heard anything about him. So just this entire section is like. It's pretty re wild. It's really crazy to just hear like that. It absolutely is. Yeah. Anyway, tell what you think about it in the comments. Jesse Lee Peterson, broken inside, seriously.